All right, guys, I'm going to share with you after mentioning it on a grocery haul video, um, things I am enjoying purchasing and will continue to repurchase and things I have tried and I don't enjoy, I don't like, and I will not repurchase. I don't have a lot today because I kind of had this idea a few weeks ago and I've only been saving things since then that are kind of out of the ordinary for us. Although in saying that, I've got a couple of things that I've actually purchased a lot. I thought I'd share them as anything. Ah, anyway, let me just share a couple of things with you. This is all relating to groceries. I've actually got a couple of things I've purchased from other stores like Kmart and Target and a little bit from Coles, which I might do a separate video on. This is more just relating to like my grocery hauls. So the first one I'll share with you here, um, I've kept the packaging for some things to make it easier. These are amazing these are the coles crumbed chicken nuggets they are not expensive they've actually got pretty good ingredients in them these crisp up in the oven we don't have an air fryer if you had an air fryer probably even better again um, but these crisp up so well in the oven and my kids love them crunchy juicy inside a really good price point i think for the box I don't think you get so many in the box. It's just 400 grams. It's a 400 gram box. I believe it was like $3.80. I could be wrong. Um, but we purchase these all the time. Um, so those ones we really like and we've purchased a lot. This one here was a new one I tried a couple of weeks ago. I don't like a big stock up because Coles had the, you know, spend $200 and get $20 off sort of thing online. So I thought I'd try these ones. So the same brand, Coles, but these were the chicken crumbed chips. So crumbed chicken chips, um, so like chicken fingers kind of thing. So I thought I'd grab those and give them a go. They've got kind of like a spice on the crumb, which my kids didn't love. Um, and they didn't sort of come up like puffy and crunchy the way I thought they were going to. So look, they were okay. To be honest, I'm probably not going to buy them again because my kids didn't love them. Um, they eat them, yeah, kind of, um, if there's nothing else on their plate and they're really hungry, they'll eat them. Um, definitely will get these again. These ones here are probably a bit of a miss. Um, that's just my kids. I actually didn't find them too bad. Um, so if you think your kids enjoy that kind of food, maybe give these a go. Um, like I said, sometimes my kids can be quite picky and particular and those ones there, it just didn't seem to attract them to want to try them and enjoy them. Uh, the next one is this here. This is the black swan beetroot tzatziki dip. <clears throat> It's really good. I'm sharing the packaging with you on this one. I saved it for a reason and I've actually cleaned it. It's all cleaned inside. This is the beetroot dip here. It is, if you love tangy food, like salt and vinegar chips, if you love beetroots, um, this is it. It even says in the packet, now that I'm looking at it, an extra tang. It is really, really nice. More tangier than a normal like tzatziki dip. Um, so we have this one here when I do my lamb burgers. We get the brioche buns, I make a lamb mince patty, and then I put on some of that coleslaw salad that I buy all the time, and this here. And this here makes the burgers. It is a really nice dip. I don't use it as like a chip dip. I haven't tried it as a chip dip because when we eat the burgers, we slather this on. And it is really tasty. I usually get this when they have the two for five or two for four dollar deal. I can't really remember. And I get this one here and then I get the caramelized onion in this brand as well. And I have that as a dip. So I'll have like a cheese platter night and I'll use that dip there. And it is really, really tasty. So the Black Swan Crafted Beetroot Tzatziki. Um, mm, it's really nice. I probably need to try it as a dip or even on, on like a, um, a salad wrap for lunchtime and just see how it tastes. But we really enjoy those burgers. And I think I've done a video with those burgers. They are so simple to make. So if you want to have like a really um, simple dinner or you want to invite some friends around and you want to cook something, the burgers are the way to go in summer, in my opinion. The next thing, Coles convinced me the other week, it came up in like a recommendations online 
and I grabbed it. So I grabbed these here and I mentioned it in the, the Coles haul I was doing. I'm like, I grabbed these, never seen them before. And a few of you commented saying they're really good. So it is the Wicked Sisters brand. So they do Wicked Sister desserts. And I got the strawberry panna cotta. Mm. Really good. And this one here actually says that it's gluten free. It's Australian owned. They were on sale. That's when I was like, okay, you know what? I'll try them. <sighs> They're really nice. I can't remember the price point on them. They're not overly cheap, but they are a really, really nice adult dessert i didn't have mine for dessert i had mine as a morning tea snack um but very nice and they do have some other flavors in the range which i'm probably going to go back and try as a bit of a treat for myself um, but i kind of felt like i was at an italian restaurant ordering dessert after lunch one day trying them they are actually very very nice so again if you're probably not a cook but you want to entertain guests I don't know, maybe they, these come in like packs of two. Maybe you could like pop it out of the, the packet and serve it to them with like some fresh real strawberries or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but they were very, 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 very nice. And I did enjoy them. And I will try some other flavors that they have as well. I, th I think it's also not just the panna cotta. They have like a different range. Like I think like tiramisu uh, and maybe creme brulee, which I love that kind of stuff for dessert. Um, the next thing that I tend to go to all the time when I make homemade pizzas and I do have a video I think sharing this as well this is the brand of pita bread we get this one here is fluffier lighter they're slightly larger in size when I cook them we don't have an air fryer or an air cooker we just use an oven I'm very simple on um, like gadgets in the kitchen these crisp up so well i really really like them they do come on sale at coles every now and then i'm just seeing if this has got like any allergies to it or anything interesting that you probably need to know about it i'm not big on like is it super super healthy i think it tastes really good so it's got here no nasties no additives no preservatives uh, made in australia from 100 percent australian ingredients so that's kind of handy to know um, all that contains in this is flour, water, yeast, sea salt, and that is it. So that would make it dairy-free, egg-free, and nut-free, unless there are traces of nuts that you would need to be aware of. Um, and obviously, with those ingredients, that would make it vegetarian as well, or even vegan as well. Um, but these are really great. Good, and I use them for pizzas. I don't use them to like make a wrap. I find with wraps, I like like thin um single layer kind of wrap bread but this one here is actually quite thick the pitcher breads um so for pizza bases they're fantastic or i have also made in the past um i've gotten like the cheese and tomato and then i folded it over and kind of like toasted it into kind of like a quesadilla and that was really nice as well now the next thing and the last thing i'm going to show you like i said before i've tried to keep a couple of things i've got more coming but i'm kind of like spacing it out this is probably the things that i have loved or maybe not love so much in the past probably five four five um hauls that i have done the last one i don't actually have the packaging but i actually have the, the product and this here again i shared this on the haul and i was like i don't know it was on sale i saw a thing on tiktok or instagram reels for it and i was like mm, it's on sale we'll give it a go this is called a scrub daddy <laughs> There's a story behind it. Apparently these guys went on to that TV show Shark Tank and they wanted to get like sponsored or funded to make this amazing dishcloth. And I was like, yeah, well, okay, whatever. I'll give it a go. This is the best sponge I have ever purchased. I do not have a need to buy the um, wire scourers anymore or the little cloth I was purchasing. I was just purchasing the cheap Coles home brand one, packs of like four and probably every like three or four weeks I was replacing them and I'm like they're only like a dollar eighty a packet. That's fine compared to like the other brands, excuse me, that you can get. I was like now nah, they're fine. This was on sale. Full price, I think it's $5. I think it was on sale for like $3.80. I was like, look, let's just give it a go and see what the hype's about. I don't get much. Apparently, it's actually shaped 
like a smiley face with hair for a reason. You can put like your um, tongs in through the mouth. It's shaped in like spoons and give it like a proper clean. The eyes up here, you can poke like utensils through. I just use it as like a normal um, kind of a scour. It scrunches up really well. I don't actually know what it's made out of, but it's kind of it's almost like packing plastic. Um, I have used this in the worst situations in my kitchen. I have scrubbed the floors. I have scrubbed our gas cooktop um, inside my fridge. I have given this a real workout. And I think I've had this for about five weeks, maybe four weeks. Um, very, very impressed. Now this is the Scrub Daddy. I believe there's different colors you can get in it. And I understand there's a Scrub Mummy. This feels weird talking about it, but I think the scrub mummy is softer in texture. So this one here can actually be quite like for hard surfaces, which is what I want. I want to scrub my pots and pans, scrub down my bench and get all the dirt marks off and then give it like a wipe over and we're clean and we're good to go. Um, this is so good. I'm actually going to buy them, I think, for the bathrooms when we move. Um, oh, I could just do it here, couldn't I? When they go on sale next, I think I'm going to buy a couple more of these. Not because they wear out, but because I want to have one for like the kitchen and then bathrooms and that sort of thing. I think this is a brilliant invention. I do not know what it's made out of, but it's awesome. It kind of reminds me of that. Did you remember those coral um, like body sponges? They were like rock hard. And then when you wet them, they are like really soft and spongy. It's kind of like that. So I've just cleaned my kitchen and this is like really soft, but when it dries, it's hard. Um, I absolutely love it. So there is a mummy and I think I'm gonna get that for the bathrooms because it's a less abrasive, like less hard. I don't know if abrasive is the right word or not. Um, but yeah, this one here, the Scrub Daddy. Um, I actually think this is great and I, I highly recommend looking into getting them. I got mine from Coles and I think it's really good. Um, I do have other products. This is just a short video. I wanted to get those products out because they've been sitting under my cupboard for a while. I do have other products I absolutely love. I love the bread we get, which is the... Uh, the Abbott's one, I think it's called. Is it Albert? Ab Ab Abbott's. It's Abbott's brand. Abbott's traditional white or rustic white. You see it almost in every grocery haul of mine. Really, really like that. Um, some things my kids are really not enjoying, and I have done a couple of Instagram stories just to show you like real action of it taking place. Um, my daughter loves two minute magic noodles whether it's beef or the chicken flavor, she loves them. And I've tried to find cheaper substitutes. She does not like the Coles brand, does not like them. We've tried the Eldies ones. She does not like the Eldie ones. They do taste slightly different and they do have a slightly different texture compared to the Maggi Noodle ones. I feel like I'm an expert on two minute noodles at the moment. Um, so we're sticking to Maggi two minute noodles. She loves them. They're a little bit on the pricier side compared to the Coles brand or the Eldis brand. But I have been told that if I go into the $2 stores, which we have up here, and I cannot think of the name of it off the top of my head. Um, you, sometimes you can pick them there a lot cheaper than in the coal. So if I'm ever out shopping, I might pop into a $2 store uh, and see if they have them there. But that is probably my first little episode of um, things I'm loving and things I'm, I'm not liking. I'm going to do another one just before Christmas because I got a couple of things from Kmart the other week, uh, like a mop. I got some facial things. Um, so I might tie that into my next little one, like a, a Coles one, a Kmart one, and just general things I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, but that is it from the past couple of weeks of my grocery haul. I thought these things will kind of stand out to share with you. The other things I kind of get all the time, like our tiny teddies, fruit and veg and that kind of thing. I haven't really tried anything else too different at the moment, um, which probably means I need to shake it up and try some different things again. So if there is anything that you would think I should, that you think that I should try and you would like to recommend, let me know. Let me know the brand, where it's from, and I can place an order with Coles and I can give it a go and give you my thoughts as well. Uh, maybe I'll try some different yogurts or some different crackers or some home brand versions of Tiny Teddies. I probably need to get a bit more creative and think outside our norm at the moment. Um, but that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we will talk soon. Bye. Just wanna get to know you.